Hello, Curly Fries. How are y'all today? I am doing considerably better than the last time I filmed. Um, my family is still pretty much okay. Um, they're still sick, but it's not really that bad at the moment. They're okay. They're pulling through. So, they're, you know, keeping them in our prayers and stuff and hoping for the best. Um, today I wanted to bring a book to your guys' attention and what better way to bring a book to your attention by not doing, by doing a book review. Um, this is a book that I haven't heard anybody talk about. I haven't seen around and when I checked on Goodreads, it didn't have that many reviews. So I'm guessing it's not a well-known book. Um, this is a self-published fantasy and that is... I Am King by Damien Schillingford. Um, I came across this book completely by accident. Um, so I have Kindle Unlimited. And basically, for those of you that might not know what Kindle Unlimited is, which I'm pretty sure most people do at this point if you're a reader, um, it's basically a subscription. You pay like $10 a month, or I believe you could pay 60 bucks for a year, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I, I pay per month. Um... And basically, you get books that are discounted, like ebooks, and you also can get um, books that fall under the Kindle Unlimited category, which are basically free books that you can read as long as your Kindle Unlimited subscription is free. So that's what I mostly use Kindle Unlimited for, is to get Kindle Unlimited books because a lot of self-helped books get on there. Um, the main, like, the romance section of Kindle Unlimited is really, really popular, but I stick to fantasy because I'm more of a fantasy reader than I am a romance reader. Um, but yeah, if you're, like, really into romance or into fantasy or something like that, and you're looking at a, you want a subscription like that, I have to say, I don't really like supporting Amazon like that, but I do really like, um, Kindle Unlimited. And you don't even need to have a Kindle. You can just have the app on your phone and read books that way, which is what I was doing for a while, or you could like have it on your tablet or iPad, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, I was scrolling through Kindle Unlimited one day. I was in the mood for a fantasy, but I wanted a fantasy, and this might sound kind of like pretentious, but I wanted a fantasy that not a lot of people were talking about. I wanted something new, something fresh to my eyes, something I hadn't heard about like a million times on Booktube. Um, so I was scrolling and um, I came across I am King and I'm not gonna lie the cover is not the greatest which is usually the most case with self-published books like the covers not that great but I'm not um especially when I'm looking at ebooks I'm not like a cover person like oh the cover has to intrigue me I usually pay attention to like the blurbs or the description and one of the blurbs that it had on this book was if you love Lord of the Rings you're gonna love this book and I was like well that's all you had to say I'm sold off of that alone and, um, oh, excuse if you hear noise in the background, that's my son. He's eating his, um, bagel with cream cheese and making a huge mess. Um, but yeah, um, so I was like, all right, I'm about to read this and it's on Kindle Limited, so it's free. So if I don't like it, it's cool. And I ended up liking it. I ended up more than liking it. I ended up loving this book. Um, basically we start off following, excuse me, my throat is dry. We start following a uh, character, I forget her name, I'm going to put her name here, and she is looking for a prince called Beaumont, or Bo, because where she's from, the Middle Islands, they're basically about to, you know, be ravaged in like this war or whatever, and he's the only, you know, he's the king of the Middle Islands, so he needs to bring, you know, order and hope to his people. Now, no one knows where... King Beaumont is hiding and so she like got a lead and so she's following this lead to get to him so um she meets up with this king of another island or another place and she is requesting his help like for him to send her some guards and stuff to travel with her to help her find this king which he after some like you know sourcing and all that is that how you say the word I don't know after some convincing, let's use that word instead, um, he agrees. So she is traveling with some 
soldiers that he gave her and his well his trusted advisor is like supposed to go with her but something happens and he doesn't and i'm not i'm not gonna specify why because that's a spoiler so she goes and she finds this prince and you know things come things travel from there now the prince is a child he's like i think like 11 10 11 years old so you do get like POVs from his perspective and it is childlike but it's not that much like it's not so overwhelming that it deters you from the book I mean I don't really mind child POVs if they're done well like obviously if I'm reading a child's POV I don't explain um like I was saying if we're like if I'm reading from a child's POV I don't expect them to be you know eloquent or for their I like for their thought processes to be mature because they're children so it doesn't really bother me reading from a child's point of view as long as it fits with the story, which it totally did. So we follow Beaumont's point of view at that point. We follow his rescuer, the person that saved him's point of view. And we follow this soldier named Gavin who is literally, <laughs> he was a character that got on my nerves when I first was reading him because I was like, Ugh, he's just such a piece of crap. Like he doesn't care about anybody but himself. But the more that I read, the more I grew to like him. And he's literally the funniest character. He does not, he, after a turn of events, he is in charge of taking Beaumont and his cousin Julius to the Middle Islands where they need to go. Um, and he does not want it. He doesn't want to, but he made a promise. He made an oath, yada, yada, yada. All he wants is money to just drink himself like stupid. That's all he wants. And he finds himself having to do this, you know, mission, this quest. And so the whole book is a huge quest of him transporting these kids to where they need to go while trying to avoid an enemy that kind of portrayed them and then turned into an enemy. I don't want to... Well, we're following an enemy named Royce and he's working with somebody that portrayed them. That's okay. That's how we go. So... Royce is this character who wants to get to the prince first because he wants to turn him over to this evil king because this king, Rancine, Rancine, I've always pronounced his name as Rancine, but I don't know if that's the correct way to pronounce it. Um, He took his family and basically is like, unless you do this mission for me, you're not going to you know, see your family. Your family's always going to be my slaves and you're not gonna you know you're never gonna see them again so Maurice is a character who is obviously a villain because of the things that he does and the fact that he wants to turn these kids over to an evil warlord but at the same time you can't help but feel for him because you know why he's doing this he's doing this to save his family and this is something that um like Damien Schillingford does really really well the fact that you get the perspective of and the background of the villain as well and so you kind of are like a little bit feeling bad for the villain because you're just like damn i see why he's doing this and if in normal circumstances i would be rooting for this guy but at the same time you want to like root for gavin and the kids because they're you know it's just kids you know they're not like responsible for this stuff and so it's a whole mess like that so we're following a whole quest of gavin and the kids trying to escape race that's like the whole basic plot of this book my son is messing with the window so the lighting is like going bonkers that's why um but things that i liked about this book i love the quest aspect that's the main thing that i really loved about lord of the rings besides like the bromance is the quest of them just having to take the ring to mount doom so this quest of having to transport the kids and all this time they're being tailed by royce and his henchmen was like a big win for me and also like i said gavin was such a funny character like you've seen that michael jordan meme that goes around that's like f them kids i'm going up here that's literally gavin the entire book like he does not want no parts to this he's only doing this because of an oath and because he wants his like reward or whatever and he's just like you know i like all the time he's threatening these children he's like look if you don't get your ish together i will leave you you can die for all i care and i will move on with my life like and he's just so harsh with them like and it's hilarious because it's just like he really just doesn't want any parts but there's no way that he can like 
get rid of them and then as time progresses obviously with them spending so much time together he starts to kind of develop a reluctant bond with them like he doesn't want to but he can't resist because like they're kids and he's spending so much time with them and you know like what are you gonna do and i mean throughout the whole book he's just like i will literally just leave you i will literally kill you like i don't care don't mess with me just do what you need to do and just shut up and let's listen to what i gotta say and it's just hilarious throughout the entire thing i was in tears just laughing and honestly the fight scenes in that book were so well done and the world building was really really well done i wasn't expecting the world building to be as good as it was i was just like dang this is a self-pubbed book and it's a long one i'm not gonna lie it's a very long one but it was so 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 good and i just I couldn't get enough of it. I was constantly reading it. I was neglecting a lot of other books that I was supposed to be reading just to read this book. Um, I will say there were like some typos, a few little grammatical errors here and there, not anything too serious. Um, I was so invested in the book that it really didn't bother me. And also I kept in mind it's a self-published book. I usually do that. When the book is self-published, I tend to be, I tend to have more grace towards like little errors like that because of the fact that it's like, you know, they didn't have the funds, you know, they didn't have the privilege of having, you know, what a traditionally published author would have, like the team a traditionally published author would have. So I'm not like as on their case about it. But honestly, the book was so good that those things literally didn't bother me. And probably like almost halfway through the book, I honestly was just not even paying attention to those errors. Like I was just so invested in the story. But I have not heard anybody talking about this and it's so freaking good and I think it came out I don't know what year it came out it came out not super long ago I don't think I don't know I'll put the date here I'm probably 100% wrong but I haven't heard anybody talk about it since I've been watching booktube and I've been watching booktube for years um before I you know ended up um actually being on booktube that's my son <laughs> But I haven't heard anybody talk about this. And honestly, I get the Lord of the Rings vibe from it. Like, this man just made his own world from, like, scratch. And it all makes sense. The politics of it. The political intrigue of it. The freaking characters. The culture of it. It all makes sense. And also, um, Damien Schilling's writing, like, when the characters talk, it's very, like, formal kind of fantasy um, language. Like... Instead of saying, I can't, let's say if a character is saying, like, I can't, I don't know, climb that mountain or whatever, they say, I cannot climb that mountain, and, or, I will not do this, or, you know, I do not believe that. Like, it's very formal, and it brings to mind very classic fantasy. Like, this read, like, a classic fantasy book, and I ate it up. I adored it so much. Um, I believe it's, like, the first book my son is just, like, determined to test every nerve on mommy's soul today <laughs> um it's not that bad but um he was messing with something and was making too loud of a noise but anyways um yeah i read like a classic fantasy i ate it up no one has been talking about this and i think they should i really feel like people should and from what i've been reading online because obviously after i read the book i had to naturally stalk all information i could find about this book if it was going to be like the first I knew it was going to be a book one of something, of a duology, a trilogy, something, because the way it ended, I was like, there were some threads that weren't resolved yet, because obviously it's going to continue in further books, but the ending was good and left on like a cliffhanger of sorts, and I was like, I need to know about book two, like I want book two today, um, but I, from what I've read, it's supposed to be the first book in a six book series, so that's exciting. Um, I wonder if the other books are going to be as long as this one was, because this one was easily, like, I think in my Kindle edition, it was like six, seven hundred or something pages, something like, some, somewhere around there. And so, I don't know how much that would be physically, like, if you had a physical book. I do plan on getting it physically, because I loved it that freaking much, and I do, like, want to make a point of supporting more self-pubbed authors. I mean, I do tend to read an even mix of self pub authors from time to time but like I want to actually like not just read their books on Kindle Limited and leave a review and that's it I want to actually purchase their books like any ways to help and I really really love this one like I loved it so much <laughs> um it was 
it had the right balance of humor. It had the right balance of violence, war, the right balance of tension, emotional, like, feelings, everything. Like, this book was just... I don't want to overhype it, but at the same time, it was so good. And it just blew me away because of the fact that... And I know I'm not the only one. I know this happens with, like, a lot of people, and it's unfortunate. But when we think of a self-help book, our expectations tend to be a little lower. We don't expect it to be, I guess, as, like high quality as like traditionally published although i've read some traditionally published books that i'm just like how is this even traditionally published it's like it's it's garbage <laughs> um you know like there but there's so many people under the radar i've been finding with self-published authors that they're so good but because they're not getting that boost that hype not a lot of people are going out of their way to read self pub books they're kind of just flying under this radar and we're missing out on them but i'm just so excited for this author i'm excited for this book for the next book whenever those books get printed out like i said i don't think it's been that long since this one so he's most likely still working on the second one and you know take the time you need like <laughs> if that type of quality work comes out from you taking your time then please take your time that was such a good book like i don't know i'm bad at reviews but i really felt like i should review this one because it was so good and i feel it'd be a shame if not a lot more people read it you know but yeah that was my review of i am king by damien Schilling ford i know my review did not do this book any justice but please 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 if you have kindle unlimited and you're in the mood for some fantasy you like lord of the ring vibes then by all means please pick this up and don't let the point of view the child pov because i know that doesn't work for a lot of people but like i said it doesn't bother me and don't let like the little typos or grammatical errors like throw you off because like i said self-pub authors have to go through a lot it's not easy self-publishing your book i mean i've done research on it because i just wanted to see how much like more effort you have to put in to be so published and it's a lot it's a it's a hell of a lot so i you know hats off to people that self publish their books that's all i gotta say hats off to you because it takes a lot of guts it takes a lot of strength it takes a lot of perseverance and you know like they do the damn thing so hats off to you guys and if you haven't picked this book up you haven't heard of it you're interested in it it's on kindle unlimited still so if you have that pick it up I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check the links in my description for ways you can help out issues that are going on in the world. I know there's um, something, I know there's a huge like thing, COVID cases rising in India. So I'm gonna put links down there where you can donate, where you can help out. They need like oxygen tanks and so much medica medications and all the help they can get. So please do. Please do your research on stuff as well, organizations that are reliable and stuff like that on your own time as well. And without further ado, I'll see you guys later. I love you so much. Thank you guys for supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video because it helps my channel out a lot. See you later. Mwah.